Here. Decker? Here. Festa? Here. Haywood? <clears throat> Antunes? Here. Santana? Here. Acosta? Here. Santiago? Here. Crespo? Presente. Ortiz? Nicola? Here. Here. Edwards? Here. Clyburn? Winter? Here. Morrison? Here. Walker Myers? Hamilton? Here. Marshawn? Here. Brockheen? Furlow? Here. Marks? Wingate? Vicente. Smith? Here. Uh, okay, Alda Walker Myers is frozen. Just give her just a moment. I am here also. Ward one. Yes, gotcha. And just a double check. Uh, Ward two, Douglas. Ward two here. Frank Douglas here. Okay. President back. Go ahead, President. Oh, okay, for some reason I was um, frozen. So a quorum has been established. We'll now have divine guidance from order for Ward 25. Good evening, everyone. Now is the season of Lent, 40 days of contemplation and reflection before Easter, the highest holy day for many Christians. Come in my church. I would appreciate people muting if they could. Some in my church forego certain activities or celebrations in observance of Lent. I follow this tradition every year giving up some of my favorite foods. This year, we have all given up so much because of the pandemic. For my church family, we have stopped our communal worship. I miss sitting in the pew with my family, singing beloved hymns and praying together. We cannot break bread as a congregation and I miss these group rituals so much. But as I reflect upon our situation during this Lenten season, I perceive that many in our society have been forced to make greater sacrifices than I. Healthcare workers and first responders are putting their lives at risk every day. Workers across the nation are losing pay and benefits. Small business owners have shut down operations, possibly losing customers forever. This is the most somber Lent I can remember. But as I reflect further, I feel gratitude. I am grateful for everyone stepping up in myriad ways to care for the sick, to feed the hungry, to comfort the lonely. I also feel hope. We shall overcome these challenges if we stick together. Easter is coming. Life will prevail over death. Thank you.
Thank you. Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Madam President, and good evening. I move approval of the journal of the March 16, 2020 Board of Alders meeting. Second. The item has been moved and second. Are there any corrections to the journal? We lose the president. All right. Mr. Majority Leader, you want to take it? Here we go. I said. Oh, there you are. Okay. Something's happening. Hold on. Okay. All right. I said, um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Item pass, Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Madam President. Under unanimous consent, I ask you see an item number one from the Board of Alders submitting a resolution of the New Haven Board of Alders saluting and expressing extreme gratitude to those workers on the front line providing the functions deemed critical to the continuity of operations in the midst of this global pandemic. Is there anyone going to deny unanimous consent? <laughs> Seeing none, Mr. Majority Leader. I move the item. Second. The item has been moved and second. Discussion. I call on order from Ward 12. Thank you, Madam President. This resolution is important to our first responders. We need to let them know that we recognize and appreciate their dedication to the residents and visitors of this city. For one, I recognize that one thing, it's one thing to have to fight a person, but to have to fight it's something that you cannot see, you cannot feel, you cannot touch is difficult. However, they have to defend against something that they can't touch or see or feel and still consider the fact that the result could be illness or death. And as a final note, let's not forget those who work in the communication center. Those emergency communication operators have their jobs to do, but they're a little bit different now than they were in the past. They have to deal with the public in a totally different manner and trying to explain to them how the police or firefighters or ambulance will respond. So I am completely in uh, support of this and encourage my colleagues to do the same. Thank you. Seeing none, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Any abstentions? The item passed. Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Madam President. I ask unanimous consent on item number two from the Board of Alders submitting a resolution of the New Haven Board of Alders supporting low wage, low income, and hourly workers suffering during the COVID-19 pandemic and efforts to provide them with assistance to get them through this crisis. Is there anyone going to deny unanimous consent? Seeing none, Mr. Majority Leader. I, I move the item. Second. The item has been moved and second. Discussion. I call on order from Ward 22. Thank you, Madam, Madam Chair. Um, I stand in support of this resolution also sending out a message to everyone how important it is that we support our hourly um, salary workers because of the fact that a lot of these jobs are closing. These jobs, a lot of our hourly workers cannot pay their bills, yet the bills are coming in. And so I ask that everyone um, stand in support of this resolution because we have to get the message out there that by any means necessary, supports have to be put in place 
for our hourly uh, wage workers so they too can continue to live um, a positive life and be able to pay their bills and support their families. Thank you. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> any opposed? Any abstentions? The item passed, Mr. Majority Leader. Three from the Board of Alders submitting a resolution of the New Haven Board of Alders calling on all public agencies, private entities, organizations, and corporations pull resources together to provide immediate financial relief and assistance for New Haven's most impacted by the economic crisis from the COVID-19 pandemic as quickly as possible through methods that involve the minimal amount of bureaucracy. Is there anyone going to deny unanimous consent? Seeing none, Mr. Majority Leader. I move the item. Second. The item has been moved and second. Discussion. I call on order from Ward 25. Thank you, Madam President. I speak in favor of this item. Over Monday evening and Tuesday evening, we heard from city staff and department heads, coordinators, talking about the tremendous effect, the unknown effect, uh, uncountable effect as of yet, of the COVID-19 pandemic on our city finances, on the economy. It's, it's very clear that this is a seminal event that's going to ha have ripples throughout every facet of our society and every facet of our government. And we do need to call on our partners and those entities that have the means to step up and to help in this time of crisis. Um, and we just have to pull together and call on those more fortunate to assist those in need. Um, and so, Looks like screen has frozen, um, Madam President. So we'll come back okay. to him. Okay. Um, is there any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any, any opposed? Any abstentions? The item passed, Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Madam President. I ask you see an item number four from the Board of Alders submitting a resolution of the New Haven Board of Alders, urging all residents of, the New, ha of New Haven to practice the health promoting and life-saving measures of social distancing by remaining at home unless one must go out for essential business and by maintaining at least six feet away or six feet from others when it is necessary to be out in public and to urge others to do the same. Is there anyone going to deny unanimous consent? Seeing none, Mr. Majority Leader. I move the item. Second. The item has been moved and second. Discussion. I call on order on order from Ward 21. Thank you, Madam President. At this point, we likely all know someone in our community who has been affected by the virus. But we also know that each member of our community can help slow the spread of the disease. With this resolution, we stand together virtually to urge every resident to stay apart physically. Early evidence indicates that social distancing works. States like California and Washington that instituted stay-at-home policies have seen their number of confirmed cases grow less quickly than the nation as a whole. These measures are difficult and come at great social and financial cost. 
but in leading our residents and continuing to practice social distancing in the weeks to come, we will save lives. In these dreadful, strange, and difficult times, we must stand together by staying apart. Thank you, Madam President. I will now call on order from Ward 10. Thank you, Madam President. I saw a quote recently on social media that read, the virus doesn't move, people move, people move it. We stop moving, the virus stops moving, the virus dies. It's that simple, end quote. Please, I am begging our residents and uh, anyone out there to respect social distancing, stay home so we can get to some level of normalcy sooner rather than later, and to please not overwhelm our healthcare system that is already feeling the effects of this pandemic. So please everyone, stay home and respect the social distancing. Thank you. I will now call on order from Ward 7. Thank you, Madam President. I want to thank everyone who's totally altered their life to protect the whole community by social distancing. My day job is at the Yale School of Medicine, and I receive daily reports of their completely re-engineering their operations to try to have enough people power, equipment, and space to, carry our growing num to handle the growing number of people getting COVID-19. Their efforts are heroic, but the reality of the risks of exceeding capacity is just really scary. As we have heard repeatedly, the most effective way to slow the spread and prevent the healthcare system from being overwhelmed and even more people from dying is social distancing. I thank everyone who's continuing to do this and I thank my colleagues for helping to reinforce this message over the coming weeks and perhaps, perhaps months citywide because I know it may get hard over time to stick to this. Thank you. Are there any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? The item passed, Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Madam President. I ask you to see an item number five from the mayor submitting an order to the Board of Alders authorizing until September 27, 2020, unless otherwise amended or terminated by further action of the Board of Alders. The mayor, with approval of the Board of Alders leadership, to enter into such agreements as may be deemed necessary or desirable to mitigate the spread of COVID-19, including such agreements that include identification of a party or parties thereto by the City of New Haven, provided, however, that such indemnification shall be limited to liability arising directly from actions of the City of New Haven, its officials or employees, and where the indemnified party is not otherwise protected by the extension of governmental immunity afforded by statute included without limitation Connecticut General Statutes section 28-13 and 28-2 and further provide that the city has first exhausted all reasonable efforts to seek extension of immunity from the state of Connecticut to said third party immunity sorry is there anyone going to deny unanimous consent Seeing none, Mr. Majority I move the item. Second. Second. The item has been moved and second. Discussion. I call on order from Ward 27. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, first, I would like to thank the chair, um, uh, Chair Festa, for facilitating the workshop on this item just held uh, previous to this meeting in the CSEP committee. And just to give a little history on how it got here, uh, the mayor in consultation with our board president and leadership expressed the urgency of having such an order and the need to act quickly. Doing all that we can to protect, first of all, our first responders, their families, and more broadly, the residents of our city against the spread of COVID-19. This item was given a workshop in order to provide public to provide a public process, a public hearing, and conversation. And tonight we are voting on it, as you see, to give it top priority. In summary, this order would allow the city, upon approval from the Board of Alders leadership, 
to enter into uh, other coronavirus related identification contracts with other organizations which are uh, positioned to aid the city during this pandemic. I urge colleagues to vote favorably and to support this item. Thank you, Madam President. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none. No, okay. Madam President, my hand is up, sorry. Oh, okay, I didn't see it. I got you now. All right, I'll call on order from oh. Ward 10. Thank you, Madam President. Earlier this evening, the City Services and Environmental Policy Committee met and we would like to favorably recommend this item. It is important that at this difficult time, we give the mayor and leadership the authority they need to protect our residents, first responders, and their families. Like the contract with the University of New Haven, this order would allow the city to enter into other coronavirus-related indemnification contracts with other organizations who are helping the city. I also want to thank the University of New Haven for not hesitating to assist us in a time of crisis. While our first responders are running towards a crisis, we, the public, are running away from it. UNH has been a true community partner, and we are incredibly appreciative of their generosity and compassion. They have shown true leadership and have led by example, and for that, we are grateful. Thank you, Madam President. Any further discussion? I'll yes, call, Madam President. I'll call on order from Ward 27. Thank you, Madam President. I'd just like to clarify for the record that uh, this is not coming out of CSEP favorably. It was discharged as a workshop. So noted. Um, is there any further discussion? Yes, Seeing none, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Any abstentions? The item passed, Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Madam President. I ask you see in item number six, automatic affairs favorable. Order the New Haven Board of Alders approving the appointment of Ms. Annie Harper to the Commission on Disabilities. Is there anyone going to deny unanimous consent? Seeing none, Mr. Majority Leader. I move the item. Second. The item has been moved and second. Discussion. I call on order from Ward 13. Thank you, Madam President. On, on March 23rd, 2020, the Automatic Affairs Committee met, and we would like to favorably recommend that Dr. Annie Harper attended the meeting and, as required and spoke before the committee as her desire to serve the city by serving on the Commission on Disabilities. Dr. Harper has extensive expertise and will be an asset to this commission. The committee favorably recommends this appointed appointee, and I urge colleagues to vote favorably on the support of this appointee. Thank you, Madam President. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? The item passed, Ms. Majority Leader. Thank you, Madam President. I ask you see in item number seven from Tax Collector Order of Tax Refunds, April 2nd, 2020. Is there anyone going to deny unanimous consent? Seeing none, Mr. Majority Leader. I move the item. Second. The item has been moved and second. Discussion. <clears throat> Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? The item passed, Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Madam President. I ask you see in items eight and items nine, order of the Board of Alders approving the request from Tara Bland for assistance with motor vehicle tax accounts 873353 and 889648. Number nine, order of the Board of Alders approving the request from Kevin McCormick for assistance with motor vehicle tax accounts 664073. Is there anyone going to deny unanimous consent? Seeing none, Mr. Majority Leader. I move these items. Second. These <clears throat> items have been moved and seconded. 
discussion. I call on order from Ward 16. Thank you, Madam President. I just want to uh, reflect for the record that we will uh, we were forgiven the interest for these two individuals, and we're going to be bringing a total of two thousand dollars for taxes. Thank you, Madam President. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? The item passed, Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Madam President. Under communications, I note items 10 through 12. Under first readings, I note items 13 and 14, bringing us to second readings. Under second readings, we are passing over item 15. I move item 16, City Services and Environmental Policy Committee favorable. Order of the Board of Alders designated in the corner of Greenwood Street and Legion Avenue as Bishop James and Pastor Tenzella Perkins Corner in perpetuity to honor the life and legacy of Bishop James Perkins and his wife, Pastor Tenzella Perkins, who faithfully founded and served the Mount Calvary Holy Church Revival Center. Second. The item has been moved in second. Discussion, I call on order from Ward 10. Thank you, Madam President. On Thursday, February 6, 2020, the City Services and Environmental Policy Committee met, and we would like to favorably recommend this corner naming. Bishop and Pastor Perkins are remembered affectionately by the community for their spiritual leadership and dedication to the Mount Calvary Holy Church Revival Center and surrounding neighborhood for their many years of service. I urge my colleagues to vote favorably in support of this corner naming in their honor. Thank you, Madam President. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? The item passed, Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Madam President. Under miscellaneous, I move item 17. Motion to discharge from the chair of the City Services and Environmental Policy Committee submitting a motion to discharge to City Services and Environmental Policy Committee from consideration of the following items for the purpose of granting them a first reading. A, City Services and Environmental Policy, resolution of the Board of Alders authorizing the mayor of the City of New Haven to execute encroachment permits, encroachment permits, maintenance agreements, and other paperwork for a public moral in the I-91 underpass at the intersection of State Street and Bradley Street in accordance with the 2019 Department of Transportation Public Art Policy. B, City Services and Environmental Policy, resolution of the Board of Alders authorizing the mayor of the City of New Haven to execute encroachment permits, maintenance agreements, and other paperwork for two existing public murals on State Department of Transportation underpass along State Street in accordance with the 2019 Department of Transportation Public Art Policy. C, City Services and Environmental Policy, resolution of the New Haven Board of Alders, authorizing the adoption of a digital inclusion plan for the City of New Haven, focusing on expanding internet broadband access <laughs> to all premises across New Haven, creating jobs and small business opportunities and advancing the education of our children. D. City Services and Environmental Policy, resolution of the Board of Alders of the City of New Haven, authorizing the City of New Haven to, one, enter into an interlocal agreement, to create a broadband innovation committee to develop and manage a citywide fiber network, and three, enter into a concession agreement to develop a feasible study, feasibility study. Second. The item has been moved and second. Discussion on a motion to discharge only. I call on order from Ward 10. Thank you, Madam President. Earlier this evening, the City Services and Environmental Policy Committee met and heard these items. We request these items be discharged as first readings tonight. I urge my colleagues to vote favorably to approve this motion to discharge. Thank you, Madam President. Any further discussion on a motion to discharge only? Seeing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? The item passed. 
And before um, we take points of personal privilege, I would first like for um, the orders to take a moment of silence for the nephew of Alder Jill Marks and the mother of Alder Evelyn Rodriguez. Thank you. We, we all know that death is really hard and we need to hold our fellow colleagues and their families up in prayer at this time. And it would be appropriate, necessary, and the right thing to do to reach out to them um, and offer your sincerest condolences. And now we will go to points of personal privilege. I will now call on order from Ward 1. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to address the incident that took place on Linwood Place on Tuesday. Um, Rabbi Shua Rosenstein, who's a dear friend of mine and a leader in New Haven's Jewish community, was assaulted and robbed outside the Chabad house where he holds services every week. The people who attacked Rabbi Rosenstein made reference to his Jewish identity during their assault, uh, and they have been charged with a hate crime. This incident of anti-Semitism is extremely concerning to me as a Jewish resident of New Haven, as a friend of Rabbi Rosenstein, and as someone who regularly attends the Shabbat dinners that Rabbi Rosenstein hosts every Friday night at the Chabad house. I hope my colleagues will join me in condemning in the strongest possible terms this incident of violence and anti-Semitism. Additionally, during the crisis we are currently facing, I think it is especially important that we recognize and emphasize um, how important it is for us all to be tolerant and acceptant um, and come together as a community in this moment. While we should stay physically apart as much as possible um, in these times, we need to work and move and act together as a city in order to address the public health and economic challenges presented by the pandemic. Any and all forms of discrimination, prejudice, and violence only serve to make those efforts more difficult. That is why I'm so concerned about this attack on Rabbi Rosenstein, as well as by reports of increased discrimination against Asian American residents in recent weeks. I hope all of my colleagues will join me in praying for Rabbi Rosenstein's speedy recovery. Additionally, I will be submitting a resolution condemning anti-Semitism before our next meeting, and I hope my colleagues will join me in supporting this resolution to send a message to New Haven that we as a board reject anti-Semitism and all other forms of discrimination and prejudice in our city. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any more points of personal privilege? Seeing none, a motion to adjourn is appropriate. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Third, fourth. Alder Mark Sharp. Did Alder Marshawn have his hand up, Madam President? I believe Alder Marshawn had his hand up. Sorry. Closer to my face. Um, I would now call on, before we adjourn, I'll call on colleague from Ward 25. Thank you, Madam President. I rise to commend fellow members of the Finance Committee, our Chair, Alder Hamilton, and other Alders who attended our finance meetings on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, we had a very large participation from the public on <coughs> Monday. It was a uh, very important <coughs> evening. I wanted to quickly remind colleagues that the next workshop in the budget cycle will take place on Monday, April 13th at 6 p.m. via the Zoom platform. We will hear from the inter we will hear about the enterprise funds and the chief administrator administrative officers group, which includes, of course, police and fire. Our fourth and final workshop will be on Wednesday, April 29th, again at 6 p.m. We'll hear from the special service districts and also the Board of Education. And on May, Monday, May 11th at 6 p.m., the third and final public hearing on the mayor's proposed budget for the next fiscal year will take place. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam President. I will now call on order from Ward 30. 
Thank you, Madam President. I would like to do a point of preference that we pray for Maurice Williams. He was the vice president of the NAACP. He's fighting hard during this um, pandemic that's going on um, with the coronavirus. I ask that the board keep him and others that are fighting hard in their prayers. Keep New Haven in your prayers. Um, and I also ask you to keep in your prayers the young people that basically cannot cope with this staying in the social distances, um, which a couple of them has stressed out that they just want to commit suicide, I heard today. So I ask that we keep our young people, as well as our old, um, as well as New Haven, in our prayers, be because this is something new um, to this new age group of people. I mean, some of the older ones back in my era been through this, um, an epidemic of some sort, but the people of today cannot deal with it and even what it's about to come up. So I just ask that we all stay in prayer and keep our city in prayer. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you. And I also would like to note for the record in the midst of my computer freezing and my glasses not working too good, and this being new, that order from War 20. <laughs> None of it's working. Yes, you said? No. Well, I didn't hear what you said. You're freezing up. Can you repeat it? She's, she's recognizing the older from Ward 26 who has joined us this evening. Okay. That's for our record for our city town clerk to make note. And we'll wait for her to come on and officially dismiss us. <laughs> uh, let me see. Al, can we, can she, oh, well, she's coming. Here she is. Oh, no, that's my stuff. I'm sorry. She would have to give somebody the chair to nope. continue. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know why I froze again. I been on plenty of Zoom meetings and never froze until today, but that's okay. So a motion to adjourn is appropriate. So moved. Is ready? Second. So moved. Second. All right. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Any opposed? Stay safe, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Be safe. Good evening. Be safe, everyone. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your prayers. Good night, everyone. Good night.